On the 3rd of April, we mentioned 25-year-old Jordan Walker-Brown, who was left paralysed from the waist down after being tasered by a Metropolitan Police Constable whilst Jordan was jumping a wall, which led to him plunging some distance, landing on the floor where he was left paralysed. The constable who is attached to the Metropolitan Police's TSG has, so far since the incident on May the 4th, 2020, been, una been able to keep anonymous. However, in a last-ditch attempt to keep hold of that an anonymity, had his solicitors put in an application to the judges to prevent his name being published at his coming trial. However, the judges decided to decline the invitation and have ahead of the trial released the constable's name. Clarify. At the time of the incident, there was, of course, speculation that it was a racist thing. But I find it unlikely, albeit not impossible, for it to be a racist thing, as the constable charged with GBH is 35-year-old Imran Mahmoud. Mahmoud, of course, denies the charge and says he wanted to keep his identity private due to Walker Brown's connection with gangs. Although I can't imagine that they're any worse than the criminal organisation Mahmoud works for. Magistrate Paul Goldspring dismissed the application, describing the risk as speculative and saying there was insufficient evidence of real and imminent threat to life, unfortunately. Paul Goldspring added, It is a quantum leap from the fact that it can happen to co cogent evidence that such an imminent threat exists in this case. Otherwise, every case with a link to gangs would merit an anonymity order. Not even the applicant seeks to persuade the court that this is the correct approach to such applications. The defendant is in the relatively unusual position of being a police officer accused of a crime against a member of the community. Oh, oh hold on, what? The unusual position of being a police officer accused of a crime against a member of the community. Where the fuck has this judge been for the past 10 years? He added, the risk of repercussions does not appear to be substantially different from those which frequently arise in the context of serious crime, particularly into gang crime. If needed, that is relevant here. If indeed, that is relevant here. The police habitually manage such risks in the community by a variety of measures which may well be appropriate in the present case, but anonymity is not justified. Mahmoud indicated a not guilty plea during his last court appearance on Thursday and was released on bail until his next appearance at Southwark Crown Court on May the 26th. Which, of course, we will be around to cover. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other film the police and other officials.